Hi, this is Dr. A with ClinChem Review, and we're going to look at toxicology of alcohols. All right, let's start with ethanol. It is widely used in abuse, so just just regular alcohol. You can think of wine, beer, you know, harder liquors. It acts as a depressant. It's an intoxicant, and it has uh, it's psychoactive. At levels greater than 400 milligrams per dl, you can see coma and death. Those are like toxic lethal levels. Um, it, it has a synergistic depressant effect if you combine it with other depressants or like pain medications and stuff, other downers basically. It can cause a fetal alcohol disorder in um, babies if the mother um, ingests uh, alcohol on a regular basis, especially in the first trimester. And um, there's also legal alcohol testing, so that um, this is alcohol testing that would you know be able to stand up in court, usually um, in where there's a motor vehicle accident or something like that, or a person's been uh, stopped by the police because they're driving intoxicated and stuff. Um, blood or serum alcohol testing is really common. Most clinical chemistry analyzers have uh, ethanol capabilities and most of the assays are enzymatic and they can measure down to approximately 10 milligrams per dl um, anything lower than that you would just report it out as less than 10 milligrams per dl which is essentially considered negative um, you don't want to make sure when you collect the specimens that you don't use an alcohol wipe but you use a different other uh, skin cleanser the general toxic effects of ethanol are disorientation, confusion, euphoria, which can progress to unconsciousness, paralysis, and even death at those high concentrations. Um, you see hepatic conversion of the alcohol to an aldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase, and then further conversion to an acid by the hepatic aldehyde dehydrogenase, that is how it is detoxified. Um, and it's one of those where the detoxification is pretty constant. It doesn't uh, detox faster the more alcohol you, you ingest. Uh, specific toxic effects, uh, it is associated with abusive alcoholic consumption. It will result in a diminution, diminution of judgment and motor performance. Um, so because of that, blood alcohol concentrations of 80 milligrams per deciliters have been established as the statutory limits for the operation of a motor vehicle in the United States. Um, and this is actually, um, you have to be very careful because whether you are going to be above or below that threshold, it's really going to depend on your body composition on top of how much you ingested. So that, um, for example, uh, if a, a, a man or a woman ingests the same amount of alcohol, it could very well be just like, let's say just one beer that because of its, has increased muscle mass, uh, a man would be underneath the legal limit, whereas a woman would be over the, the legal limit because she has lower muscle mass and more fat tissue and stuff. Uh, so less water to have that alcohol dissolved in. Uh, chronic consumption of alcohol can lead to alcoholic hepatitis or even cirrhosis. The next alcohol is methanol. So uh, methanol is a common solvent uh, and it can be ingested accidentally as a component of many commercial products or as a contaminant of homemade liquors such as moonshine, right? So it is found in wood alcohol and again a contaminant of moonshine. Uh, it can be mixed with ethanol oftentimes. So uh, again, that would occur in moonshine and other things. Uh, a toxic dose, though, can be a, as little as four milliliters, which is not a lot. Um, you can detect it with a serum osmolality if it is elevated, uh, and also by GCMS. Uh, it can cause severe acidosis, which can lead to death. It can also cause blindness. Um, once methanol, methanol ingestion is confirmed, the patients are given ethanol, to give an alcohol or um, formipazole to inhibit the metabolism of the methanol into formic acid and lactic acid. So that's the problem is uh, the metabolites are really toxic. So um, the why you would give ethanol is an ethanol will compete with the enzymes and um, the, the methanol will not be metabolized, but it can be just cleared as methanol instead of cleared as formic acid and lactic acid. 
sodium bicarbonate can be given to alleviate the metabolic acidosis from the accumulation of the formic acid and lactic acid. And in severe cases, hemodialysis can be performed to enhance the clearance of the methanol and the formic acid. The next one is isopropanol. So it's a disinfectant. It's what you find in your alcohol wipes and stuff. You can go pick it up at any drugstore. It is called rubbing alcohol also. Uh, the body metabolizes it to acetone. <clears throat> 250 milliliters is lethal. It can cause severe acute phase ethanol-like symptoms, and it can be detected by high-performance circuit chromatography, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry analysis. The next one is ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol, or 1,2-ethane diol, is a common component of hydraulic fluids and antifreeze. <laughs> Ingestion by children and pets is relatively common because it is uh, of its sweet taste, and uh, it's like it could be found on the ground or something if it's leaking from a vehicle or a boat or something like that. Uh, the metabolites of ethylene glycol are what is toxic. Um, the oxalic acid can make calcium oxalate crystals, which can crystallize in the urine, uh, and which you can detect in the urine. You, it will also cause ethanol-like effects with severe metabolic acidosis, renal tubular damage, which can cause, which can lead to renal kidney failure. Um, ethylene glycol leads to a profound acidosis, so the goal of therapy in ethylene glycol ingestion is to treat the patient before the acidosis develops. And a toxic dose is 800 grams of ethylene glycol, which is not that much either. And then lastly, I added formaldehyde in this one. Um, it is a carcinogen. It is used extensively in laboratories and in physician offices that collect tissue samples. Um, there is a mandatory testing required to ensure that formaldehyde levels do not exceed acceptable levels. Um, staff who work directly with formaldehyde should wear badges that detect the amount that they are exposed to. And then these are sent to an outside agency for analysis. Very important to abide by that. And that is the last of the alcohols. Thank you.